I'm honored to be here with you today on the occasion of the first high-level Islamic conference on Baghdad, Dar al Salaam, and religions. I believe this is a historic conference. We have come together to stand with the people of Iraq for national unity and peace on the basis of respect for human rights and dignity. This is a symbol of the close partnership between UNESCO and ISESCO. This was expressed in the joint statement we issued on the 7th of March with Dr. Abdulaziz Uthman al Tweedri, Director General of LISESCO, to condemn the attacks against Hatra, the capital of the first Arab Kingdom in Iraq. This followed the destruction of invaluable cultural objects at the Mosul Museum and bulldozing of the ancient Assyrian city of Nimrud. We must stand up against forces that seek to divide Iraq because they attack the community we'll all share, the values and aspirations we hold in common. This is why, Mr. Prime Minister, I went to Baghdad in Erbil last November, and this is why I'm here once again today. In this struggle, I believe the partnership between UNESCO and ISESCO has never been so important. The opening line of the Sesco Charter is deeply inspiring. Believing that Islam, a religion of peace and tolerance, represents a way of life and a spiritual, human, moral, cultural, and civilizational force which made and is still making constructive contribution towards the shaping of the Islamic world and the development of human civilization. This idea guides all of UNESCO's action. It guides our action to rebuild the mausoleums of Mali, to safeguard cultural heritage in Syria, Iraq, and Libya, to fight against the illicit trafficking of cultural artifacts, and thus finance extremism. This is the spirit of the United Nations Security Council Resolution 2199, which forbids the trade of cultural artifacts originating from Syria, already in place for Iraq since 2003. We must act across the board to stop cultural cleansing. We are preparing to launch a global coalition for culture and heritage to implement United Nations Security Council Resolution 2199 and step up international efforts to protect cultural heritage at risk during conflict. Today, I will launch a new Unite for Heritage campaign with young women and men at the University of Baghdad to counter the propaganda of violent extremism. This is why I have alerted the prosecutor of the International Criminal Court because attacks against culture and heritage are war crimes and must be treated as such.